Okay, on with the unboxing of the Bronica ETRS. As you can see, it's never been handled by anybody other than me getting out of the box. But anyway, here we go. So this is 40 years old and has never seen the light of day, as we will see. This is the um, body camera, the uh, four, uh, 654, 645, sorry. So what we've got here, inspection passed by somebody in what looks like, is that 77? So it's even older than 40 years, if that's a 77. Tell me below what you think. And the certificate. Nothing special going on there, I don't think. The all important manual. All the bits and bobs. That can be as clean as anything, right? And the bit we've all been waiting for. Oh, it's, uh, if you can hear some hissing in the background, that's my fans are on full blast because in the UK it is now September 2021, and when the kids go back to school. The sun comes out and we're hitting 30 degrees today and even though I've got a fan on in my shed I'm trying to keep cool but oh, it's warm. Anywho's on with the show. So there's the camera, there's the box, so we'll get onto that in a second. We have a, a battery which I doubt very much is still uh, Usable. Wouldn't it be funny if it was? Yeah. <laughs> and the strap, which I don't use, I use a peak design, but there we go, there's the original strap. And there's nothing else in here, I don't think. Nope. So we'll pop that. I don't think I'm going to use that. No. Trust my instinct. So I'll pop paperwork back in there. Close that. Oh no, the wrong way around. I'm trying to be clever. Okay. So let's have a look at the, the song. So uh, put the strap, there's the strap. I'm not going to undo it because I don't need it. So, that there. So, here we go. It's not even been opened by anybody. So, I better get uh, some scissors. Oh dear, am I sweating? Not only this, this cost me a lot of money. It's a 40 year old tape, gone. And there we are. Brand new, never opened. The last person that handled this was the person on the inspection card who. Uh, Past it 40 odd years ago. How about that? Brand spanking new. Let's take the cap off if I can. Oh, there we go, that way around. Yeah. It's in there, mirrors up. Wonderful. Marvellous. So that's part one. Okay, so that little interlude, I went and got a new battery. So, uh, on top, we have, if I can take it off, the glass, ground glass for the viewer. I'll keep the cover on for a minute. First part, I'm going to pop the battery in to so slide off plate and push back here we've got nails so the battery you just open up this little thing if you have fingernails which I don't guess I can find something here we go so just there we are there's the battery compartment pop the battery in Ta -da. And then close that, push it up, 
Put the cover. And that is now ready for the other bits. So right now. All that. But we'll get onto that in a minute. Okay, next. The next box from the mini boxes. I'm not going to do the special one till the end. <laughs> I am going to do the lens. Why not? One lens. Okay. And again, it's uh, brand new. We have the certificate. Okay. Hong Kong. Yeah. Piece of foam. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. <laughs> there's the lens again, all sealed. Oh, there's the certificate. Something else I don't think. Have a look. Nick. Put that back. Put that back in there. Put that back. So we lose it. Box over half. It's very warm in my shed. <laughs> okay. So there's the lens. This is the. Um, didn't even look, did I? This is the 75mm 2.8 2. So there's two versions. This is the second version. Yeah, there's the scissors in there. Do, 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 do. There we go. Let's just put that bag in the big box as well. Well, with this bag, and it's in the lens box. There's logic to my madness. <laughs> okay, one lens. And a little inspection card. Here a number. No date on this one. Okay, so we'll just pop that in that box in a moment. So we have the Zenica Bronica. That's the back. And dust is the front. Dunno. There we go. All very nice, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is pair these off. So keep that, keep that, keep that out. Put them back in their boxes. So we pair these up, red to red. So we're going to attach it then. So red to red, and it's the opposite way to the cannon. There we go. So now we have. Sorry, I'm sweating. It. Now we have the lens on, aperture, all very nice, thank you very much, we're working very nice, so it should do, it's brand new, so we'll put the lens cap back on for the moment, and we'll get the lens wet, I'm sweating like a pig at the moment, okay, so we'll pop you over the door, let's bring you back into view, so you can see it, Ooh. Boxes. Right, so you're there. Right. Next is the finder. So next on our little box dive is uh, the AE Finder dash E Model Two. So this is the Prism Finder with the. Um, With the light meter. Sorry, I was trying to think what I was thinking. Right, what we've got here then. So, another certificate. All the numbers. Lovely. And we have the book. How to use it. Throw it out away. No. <laughs> all intact, perfect. No degradation, no, nothing. It's all. Oh, 
I'll just get the bottom coming up as well. So there, all perfect. And there's the finder. I don't know where the card is though. So, no, I forgot to put that the orange card in. I didn't need Mr. Scissors. So there we go, brand new. So pop that over there. Oh no, no, let's go back a bit, go back a step. Pop that away first. There as well. Nope, all the way around. Nope, this one. Yep, there we go, just put it away, it's just all tidy. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> Prism Finder. Okay, so after reading the manual, and I've removed the uh, plate. In there, which was this one, comes off of the off of the ground glass. Managed to remove the plate off of the base of the prism. You have to push it and lift it a little bit, a bit of a wiggle. It comes off. You can now see the underside of the prism. Also figured out after reading the manual of this. But essentially, what it says is that you basically. Slide these two together apparently. Like that, I believe. And then to remove it, I think you, you push a button here somewhere. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, little silver button there. Now we have it Ooh, looking like that. There's a big hole missing, there's a big bit missing here, which I'll get to in a minute. So these, here's your um, dial on the prism for auto aperture off, which is important. Make sure that's off when you're not using it, as you drain the battery, and manual. And you don't want to, you need to want to do everything manual. So, let's move that back. And on this side, the side I was having problems with, very simple, push a button. <laughs> push a button, set your ISO. And you can do it in one third stops as well. There, and then you've got uh, exposure compensation here, from half down to two. But now, we're gonna get on to the bit that's very special with this, with this particular purchase I made. So there we go, there's that. Put that there. And we'll be back in a minute and do that. Okay, for all of you who know what about the uh, Bronica ETR S and SI, and you're looking at this, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So bear with me. Just gonna bear with me for a second. So I'm just gonna zoom in so you can get the full enjoyment. So there we have, effectively, probably, maybe, the only in existence, brand new old stock 135, 35mm film back for the uh, Bronica, and this is the W, which is the panoramic version. So let me just come back, let me come back a bit, let's go back to normal, there we go, right, so <laughs> and I'm opening it. Okay, here we go. So, enough of the fancy stuff, enough of the hype. <clears throat> There's the manual again. In there, so we'll get into that at a later date. I have bought a 120 and a standard viewfinder as well. Uh, so I've got the full set, but that's coming on its way. I think the viewfinder's new as well. I'm lucky about that. There we go. Here's the back. There's no uh, orange ticket in that one. OK. 
Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, box over there. There we go again, Mr. Scissors. Oh, it's got a... It's a little Mr. Scissors. Okay. Right, sorry about that little bit clip off, but um, it was an odd one. I've run into an overheating problem on the camera. <laughs> It is so hot in the UK, September two, 2021. Have it on record. Okay, so here's the uh, 35 mil back. That is incredibly expensive. Brand spanking new. Never touched by human hand, except me. It does a pan panoramic with 35 mil, about one and a half times the size of a normal frame. And I'll be exploring this in the weeks to come. So there's that. All very nice. I'm not going to mess about with it today. Till uh, things are now. Oh, take the back off. And this should, if, the, if memory serves. Go that way, there you go. And now we have a complete Bronica 75mm uh, F2.8 Mark II body, the Prism 2 viewfinder with the uh, meter. And the very special 35mm W back. Uh, I'll be going to do a lot of videos uh, with this over the few 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 months. Uh, I've got the 120 back coming, so that'd be fine. We do normal 120 645 format uh, uh, photos with that, and we'll see how we get on. But there you go, a brand spanking new from 40 years ago, opened for you today, September, the hottest day in the UK, <laughs> um, 2021. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of more videos as and when I upload them. Thank you.